Welcome back everyone. This is the Vintage Sewing Machine Garage channel and I believe I am ready to make my stitching debut, the debut series I call this, uh, because I believe this Kenmore is now ready uh, for a new owner. So I thought I would show you, I've been, uh, I always do my test stitching uh, and I originally tried it. My first go round was with this uh, piece of denim pretty good good weight denim and you know I set it on three and you can see uh, beautiful stitching this is like my first try you know um, and so I found a darker piece of fabric because it shows a lot better show you the top stitch side first you can see the really nice consistent straight stitches I did zigzag I did shorter zigzag and then I did a utility stitch this is one of those modified or stretch stitches uh, just just amazing and if we flip over you will see the other side um, just a wonderful balanced stitch really strong and uh, what else to show you I'm gonna I'll, I'll run it through here you can see it and hear it running again uh, this is going to remind you of the 1941 model uh, 1941 not not the year 1941 because it is essentially the same machine only it can do uh, cams and uh, it actually can do decorative stitch stitches if you have the cam accessories one thing to mention on these machines is that even though it was a, a more expensive machine than the 1941 if you can believe that uh, it has a metal cam now all the cams that do the utility stitches on this model the 1760 is very similar to this the, this is the 1931 all of these built-in uh, utility stitches have steel cams. They're built into the machine. The machine will produce them for you in regular stitching. But if you want the modified version, the stretch stitch, you have to have this removable metal cam. And the reason that's done that way is because, it's my understanding that if you wanted to be able to add and subtract decorative stitch cams, which are not metal, you had to have it set up this way. So it seems like you know it's it's like an extra thing but actually this machine was more money and the engineers designed this by the way if you buy a machine like this whether it's free free arm or flatbed because they they made a variety of models that would do this you need this metal cam if you don't have it and they get lost sometimes people sometimes forget what they are and what they're for if you don't have the metal cam you can still sew but you cannot do your modified stitches and that's just the way it was engineered so keep this in mind uh, and I've already done the modified stitch here here uh, on that one example let's come back over first of all we're going to move our we're in modified mode we're going to come over to regular mode and we've got we've got our wide stitch here oh what can we do um, I think I'll just do the blind stitch right here because blind stitch is a really useful utility stitch especially when you're hemming uh, clothes and we'll keep it on the longest length as well uh, I just want the stitch to be large enough to show up well for the camera and we'll get our power turned on the needle is down and you can hear her run and you'll see it make its its row and then it hops over for the blind stitch Remember that they used to make blind stitch attachments for sewing machines. And of course you can do reverse in this as well. You can do reverse in any of these stitches. They used to make blind stitch attachments, which were a little wonky to use, but they would work. Um, and before then you had to do your blind stitching. You did your hemming by hand with, you know, thumb and needle. <laughs> so having a blind stitch is an incredibly useful thing when you are trying to, uh, uh, mend or hem, particularly hemming. People used to, you know, they didn't get rid of clothes. If, if a child particularly outgrew them or an adult couldn't wear them anymore, they would be uh, hemmed, you know, they'd be modified so that someone else could wear them. Waste not, want not was the, was the uh, rule of the day, I believe. Um, so let's see what we can do to try out the decorative stitching. Uh, I'm going to show that in another video, but I just wanted to make this quick uh, video run to show 
the machine. You can hear her running. She sounds gorgeous. And you see, let me see if I can get a little close up here. You can see this lovely blind stitch. You see it on the top thread as well as underneath. Just gorgeous. And again, you know, it's doing it on a you know, fairly decent weight fabric, plus these, these heavy seams, these heavy rolled seams, and uh, doesn't miss a beat. And you'll notice it does not lose its tension even uh, over the seam right here, which I think is pretty, pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it's a good sign of a good machine, I believe. Uh, all your vintage machines should do that. I cannot say that for all of the new machines because I have very little use for new machines, as you might imagine. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone. And I will do one more video showing the decorative stitch cams, how they work. And then uh, this machine will be ready for a new owner. Thanks for watching.